from KPRC. You're watching Local 2 News at 5. Uh, so it seems there's a lot of competition for the retiring shuttle fleet. And while many feel that Houston is an obvious home for one of the shuttles, the decision on where the spacecraft will permanently land is still pretty much up in the air. And that's why a large crowd gathered in downtown today. Local 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum live now with the latest efforts to bring a shuttle right home to Houston. Dominique, some people think this is ridiculous. This is Space City. Mission controls here. Signs of NASA are everywhere we turn. It's even inspired the names of our sports team. So for many in Houston, it's tough to understand why there's even debate over this. I mean, is there really a question whether we should get one of these shuttles? Apparently there is. Neil Armstrong did not say, Dayton, the Eagle has landed. <laughs> Apollo 13 astronauts did not say, New York, we have a problem. Houston has been at the center of the space program's orbit for decades. Sir. And now within days, we could learn whether or not our city will get one of three retired shuttles. We hereby proclaim April 6, 2011, as bring the shuttle home day in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Today, crowds gathered in front of City Hall for a rally to bring either the Discovery, Atlantis, or Endeavor orbiters home to Houston. NASA's ours. These are our friends. These are our neighbors. That shuttle is ours. Mayor Parker says it's frustrating to have to make this plea, but she and the widows of the Space Shuttle Challenger and Columbia Crews who attended today's rally say they understand why there's competition. In fact, nearly 30 cities submitted proposals to get a shuttle in their community. A final decision is expected Tuesday. It doesn't belong in any other city. The widow of the Shuttle Columbia commander still lives in Clear Lake and says that community will be upset if Washington doesn't pick Houston. I think it's a slap in the face if, if an orbiter doesn't come here for the absolute 50 years of service that this city has given and the thousands of people who have worked for NASA. This, this is a giant contribution. It's not a small one. And so here's the deal. One shuttle's already been designated for the Smithsonian. Evelyn Husband Thompson and the other space shuttle widows traveled to Washington just last week to plead Houston's case for one of the other two. The women and city leaders are calling on all Houstonians to contact their reps before the decision is made next week. Joel Eisenman, KPRC Local 2. Thank you, Joel. And if Houston is chosen for a retired shuttle, it would be housed at Space Center Houston naturally. There is a website with much more information, including an electronic letter that you can send to the president. We've posted a link to that on click2houston.com right there under the hot button.